Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use the citation tools within Microsoft Word. Uh, whether for my class or for some other class in the future, you are writing a research paper or even beyond your schooling days when you're doing some professional writing um, and you need to and you get some information from someone, you need to properly cite where you got your information. So, you know, for instance, I could be writing a paper about the Stop Online Piracy Act. Um, and I may have found a good article that I want to use. Um, now you would not, let me emphasize, you probably would not or you should not just copy and paste like I am doing right now. Uh, you would paraphrase or summarize uh, or perhaps possibly quote, but most likely you would paraphrase or summarize the information you get. Um, once you do that, you would need to put in an in-text citation of where you got it, which would probably include uh, the author's name and maybe the, the page number, I believe it was page 38. Um, and then of course if you were writing your paper later on and you found some other information later in the article that you wanted to use a different part in your paper, um, you know, so you were going to paraphrase this about um, how software scans and could log data packets um, you know so you, you're talking about that and you're paraphrasing this well again you'd have to type in your um, citation well that works that's not bad when you get to the end of your paper then you have to do you're gonna probably have a new page um, so you'd go up and insert a page break and you do your works cited and you know you type up all the all the um, bibliographies that you've used and you might use um, citation services again like Night Cite or Easy Bib to, or even citation tools within your database you are searching to create your uh, work cited list and there's nothing wrong with that it's a good way to do it um, but Microsoft Word does offer a few advantages um, other ways to cite what you've done so rather than you know you typing in those in-text citations and really typing up the um, citations at the end you can use Microsoft Word to help you create those so um, the first thing you've got to do and I should preface this, maybe not all teachers would accept this method of doing it, some might be uh, might prefer a different method, but as long as your teacher is okay with it, it is a pretty useful tool. So you go up to references and the first thing you want to do is insert a type citation. So I got some information and I got to add a new source. Um, in this case we're using an article from a periodical, uh, but if you're using a book or a section from a book or a journal article or website, document from a website, etc. Uh, you can use a variety of different sources. First thing I got to do is put in the author's uh, there we go author's last name or name. In fact, it doesn't matter that I put it in um, first name last name. It will correct that for me. I would need to put in the title of the article. Uh, I'm not going to use that full title. It gets a little bit lengthy there, so I paste that in there. The periodical title. Uh, let me do that right. Is PC World and um, the year was 2012. The month was February. Uh, the day it doesn't give us, so we'll just leave that blank. Um, and the pages was page 38. So I entered in all the information that I can into there. Um, if you really need it, you could actually show other bibliography fields that you could use, um, but really it generally just shows the ones that are recommended that you need. Um, click OK and notice it puts in that citation for you. Uh, if you if you needed for some reason to edit that citation, you can click on that link and edit citation and you could also put in um, the year, you know, the author or the pages. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. Really, it just needs the um, the name there, unless you you have multiple articles by the same person. Um, and then when I come to my next place in my paper, when I've typed up some more, paraphrased some more from that same article, well, now I can insert another citation, and it's already there. So, bam, 
I inserted a citation. And probably the best part about this tool then is when I'm done and I want to create my works cited page and maybe I've used um, I need to go there insert a page break there uh, and perhaps I've used multiple um, hopefully I have actually used multiple sources so I've got a ton of sources in my references well when it comes time to do my work cited all I do is click on bibliography click on work cited and it creates my work cited for me and it would alphabetize these it would uh, put them up uh, put them all in the correct format and if for later I was like oh shoot I did this whole paper in MLA format I was supposed to do it in um, MLA 7th edition well I can just click once and it'll change it or maybe I want to do it in APA format it'll immediately change the format for me including my um, in-text citations so it's a really handy way to quickly cite your papers. Um, it's a little bit of a pain up front. The first time you insert a citation, you've got to put all that information in, but then it stores it for you and uh, will do all the hard work. Not that it's that hard, but the hard work of alphabetizing and creating those that works cited page for you.